Our video platform is somewhat unique in that it enables our customers to deliver a fully branded, interactive, online video experience to mobile audiences through our mobile app frameworks. We have this for iPhone, we have this for Blackberry, and we have this for Nokia and Android devices. So uh, one of the things that happened recently is MTV Networks uh, came to us because they were doing the Hope for Haiti uh, telethon, which came together very quickly, very last minute. MTV, who we've worked with in the past, um, uh, was struggling to figure out how are we going to get a iPhone app in the App Store to live stream this event in 48 hours. So they came to Kite because we have this app framework which allows them to deliver fully branded, fully custom video iPhone apps to the App Store very quickly. So they came to us and we were able to deliver this for them. HTML5 and these other emerging technologies has you know, uh, posed some new challenges to the status quo, but I think it's going to be quite some time before we see Flash displaced, if at all, uh, by these emerging technologies. What's interesting about some of these new internet-enabled devices, uh, the iPad, for instance, the iPhone being one of them, um, the fact that they don't uh, support Flash um, means that in terms of delivering video experiences to these devices, you have to do it outside the realm of Flash. Now, because these devices um, support applications and apps have really become uh, the, the currency um, for mobile to a large degree, mobile web has become far less desirable than apps. Everyone wants apps. Apps are what people are downloading. That's where the action is. In order to do that, you have to develop native applications that play video. So that's been our primary focus is developing native frameworks for these various devices that allow uh, the delivery of video in the most optimized format for that particular device. So in the case of the iPhone, we're delivering H.264 encoded you know, video to be played by the QuickTime player on the iPhone. In the case of BlackBerry, we're de uh, delivering 3GP files. In the case of uh, Nokia, we're also de uh, delivering 3GP files. So it really depends on the platform dictates the type of video that we're actually going to be delivering. Kite is focused on providing the, those basic sets of features as well as some unique capabilities. One is the ability to publish content in real time. Uh, another is the ability to do both online, I mean both live and on-demand content. Um, the ability to deliver to mobile devices in a very easy way and the ability to tap into the social web. Um, these things are very unique to our platform and uh, kind of uh, the sum of these capabilities um, are in line with uh, kind of our overall vision of what video needs to be today for today's consumers. Where do you see the mix or what are your targets in terms of customers? Right. Um, our customer targets remain, you know, very much focused in the media industry, um, tier one media companies, um, as well as brands, enterprises, and organizations. So we're equally focused on um, kind of both, really I put it, it's the media companies and the non-media companies. And the kind of kite value proposition around uh, multi-platform video distribution, real-time publishing applies to both equally. The only real difference between the two is media companies are looking to monetize video and non-media companies are not looking to monetize their video. Uh, the video itself is a marketing uh, or communication tool for them. Uh, that's really the big differentiator there.